Filtration schedule breakdown. Here we go. 24 hour dynamic variable speed pump schedule where we are going to pump 41,640 gallons of water through the filter. It's going to cost us 64 cents on average using 4.93 kilowatts of power. This system is inch and a half plumbing, about 30 feet of resistance to flow, and we achieve about 8 psi on the filter when we're running at 3000 RPM, which will be the maximum RPM that we're operating at today. We're going to be looking at a schedule that has 12 hours at 900 RPM, 8 hours at 1500 RPM, and 4 hours at 3000 RPM. You can see the flow rates I've already got filled out here, but let's go ahead and take a look at the system. I'll show you these flow rates in action. So first is 900 RPM, which we've already got operating on this Hayward variable speed pump. Take a look here, see if you can see that. 900 RPM. And just about bang on 17 and a half gallons per minute there. Top right corner, 42 watts power consumption. It, that's a crazy, crazy low number of power consumption considering you're getting 17 gallons per minute of flow through the system. It's really nuts. Okay, let's take a look here. Fifteen hundred RPM. There we go, thirty gallons per minute. Top right corner, just under a hundred and thirty watts power consumption. Now let's take a look at the higher speed. 3,000. Also verify that filter pressure. Rate right about 8 PSI. Sixty one gallons per minute. Just under eight hundred forty two watts. So, as you can see, this is a pretty impressive and dynamic schedule getting forty one thousand gallons per day. That's not bad. And I mean, we're covering the range here pretty well. The lowest flow is 17 and a half. I mean, it's pretty low, but it's not that bad actually. And as you can see, it adds up to an awful lot of filtered water for very little power consumed. That contributes a lot towards being able to operate on such a low uh, number in terms of power consumption and associated cost. Let's go ahead and program a 24 hour schedule for this Hayward variable speed super pump. We want to go with something dynamic here. We don't just want it to be a really linear schedule, like three hours at this, 20 hours at that, one hour at that. We wanna have like low speed and then high speed for an hour and then low speed again. So that's what I mean by dynamic. Let's go ahead and get started here. So we navigate to the timers menu Pressing right is always how you proceed in, with, uh, with this pump in particular. So right would proceed, left would go back. So timer two, timer one. So let's go ahead and change timer one. We press the up button to make a change. It's asking us about the name. The name's fine with me, so we proceed here. At first, what we have here is 1200 RPM, but I want to go ahead and dial that down. My schedule is going to have a period of time at 900 RPM. And I want to go with... I'm going to go with 6 a.m. to noon. And again, the right button proceeds. There we go. Seven days a week is what I'm looking to program. And there we go. That's timer one. Let's proceed to timer two, where we're going to make a change. Not the name, but the RPM value. And I'm going to dial that down to 3,000. At the higher RPMs, 
it really burns a lot of power. And so the more that you can dial it down, the better in terms of cost savings on electricity. And we're going to go, as I said, for just an hour. So from noon until 1 p.m. Seven days a week. And there we go. Timer two. Timer three, we're going to make a change again. I'm going to change this RPM to 1500 RPM. And then we're going to run this from 1 p.m. all the way to 9 p.m., which as you can see, we've already got. So we proceed seven days a week again. Now, once again, what I want to do here is I want to put an hour at 3000 RPM. There we go. And this is perfect. It's already in here. From 9 p.m. to 10 p.m., we will have another hour at that 3000 RPM. Boom. Seven days per week. Timer four is done. Now, timer five, again, we want to make a change here. Timer five is where I'm going to go all the way back down to 900 RPM. And we're going to schedule six hours at this 900 RPM speed. There we go. Hit next. And I want to go from 10 PM to 4 AM in this case for six hours of operation, seven days per week. That's timer five done. Moving along to the final one here. And we're going to adjust down to 3000 RPM again. And we're going to run from 3 AM until 6 AM. And there we go. That is our 24 hour dynamic schedule programmed in to this Hayward variable speed super pump. So you could have more timers if you wanted, seven and eight, or you could just hit the menu button and then you'll be here, press menu to exit, and this is very important, press plus to save our new program. The pump resets, saves the new program, and starts running with the new programming. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.